How to create faceless YouTube shorts with AI. Pictory tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with any niche on YouTube and create shorts with Pictory. So to do this, the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have a script. I already have a script ready over here. And one thing to keep in mind is that whenever you're creating your script, it should account for only 60 seconds or one minute, however long you want your short to be. But one minute is the maximum amount of time that you want your script to be. So when Pictory is generating the video for you, they will let you know how long your script really is and how long your perceived video will be and you can choose to trim out your script later on as well. I've left a link in the description box down below for you guys to get started with Pictory and you guys can use the code CREATOR20 to get 20% off of your preferred plan on Pictory. So to get started, we're just going to copy our script over here and you guys can see Pictory has multiple different options you can go script to video article to video edit video using text visuals to video so i want to create a script to video youtube short so i will click on proceed over here the next thing i'm going to do is i am just going to paste my script once i have pasted my script the next and most important thing to do is to split these sentences the reason for this is pictory creates the scenes or the visuals based on the number of sentences you have so if you have a really long sentence it's going to take a lot of screen screen area as well if you're going to add captions which i recommend that you do plus the visual is going to look repetitive and boring so to make sure that you are creating the best type of visual you want to shorten your sentences or break them down now to do that it's very simple just create spaces and just do it over here so you later on don't have to do it so i'm just going to re-sentence this did you know that amsterdam has more canals than venice a red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club like this so i'm just going to break down these sentences like this i'm going to add dots over here like so so i'm just breaking everything down and later on if the overall text turns out to take more than 60 seconds i'll trim like the end of my video or I'll, i will remove a couple of scenes so i think i am going to keep it short like this so like this, I have shortened my script a little. You don't necessarily have to shorten your script a lot because you can really create around 800 words in one minute. That's usually a optimum range to go for one minute. But I like my script like this. And once I have set my script, uh, all I have to do now is click on proceed on the top right. Once you click on proceed, you will have to choose from your template library. So the template library is basically going to show you the type of caption you want to add. You can choose a bunch of different types depending on the faceless YouTube niche that you are in. You can choose any type of particular caption. Now, depending on your niche, your caption can vary. If you're creating more of a listicle type content, if you're creating more, um, more of educational type content, you might want the basic standard one. But if you're creating something that's more artistic, maybe you want something a bit more colorful like this one but if you're creating something that's more industrialist that's more architectural you can use this really it just depends on the purpose of your shorts depending on the kind of niche you're in or the type of channel that you are creating so we're creating a basic listicle type or informational type video i'm going to use the standard one and i am going to choose my aspect ratio so for this we're going to go with the 9 by 16 ratio this is because we are targeting this for YouTube Shorts. If you want to create a full length YouTube video, you can create it in 16 by 9, but we are going to choose 9 by 16 because this is made specifically for Shorts. And once we have selected our template, it will start creating our storyboard or basically it's going to create the visuals. It's going to match the visual elements with the text that we have provided it or with the script that we have provided it. Now, as you guys can see, our script has been created or our storyboard has now been created you guys can see on the top right you will have your estimated video duration it's exactly one minute now keep this in mind that sometimes the ai leaves a gap whenever it's talking you can choose to reduce your scene durations just to reduce this gap so i will show you guys later on how to do that but let's see all of these scenes that it has added like this and all of these scenes look a little too basic i think they look a little dull i want to add more of a visual element to my short so i am going to go on ahead going into the first scene 
you guys can see it's cutting out the best part of the video so i'm gonna move it over here and after that we have scene two which is a red light district so i'm gonna i don't like this it looks very dull it doesn't really fit my text so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on visuals on the left and then i'm gonna search for red light and i'm going to search for something that's going to look a bit more compelling like this so i'm going to select this and i'll just click it and it will be added to my short now next up we have the next scene over here which is also looking a bit dull so it has it's talking about a football club so i'm going to simply click on scene three and i will simply search for football like this and i'm just adding that over here and you guys will see if the portrait element looks a bit too zoomed in for you you guys can see on the bottom you have the settings option you can click on this settings option and you have the option of visual zoom and pen if you turn this off the video will be shortened or it would become fit to size however i don't recommend this for youtube shorts the video just looks too zoomed out so i like to keep this option turned on and if you find the content to be a bit too zoomed in you can choose to download it and reframe it as well now, now, once we have decided on our scenes and everything looks good, let's say that we have our scene over here. Let's say this scene. I want to separate this scene. So it's a very easy way that you can separate it. Simply go into story over here. Once you go into story, you will simply click on the scene that you want to split. You will move your cursor into the particular area you want to split it to. So there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to dot 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 and i will click on split scene over here Twelve thousand bicycles and I'll, i want to keep like an exclamation point over here like this now it's going to give the same background to both of your videos however if you want to change the background of the split scene then the first thing you have to do is click on unlink scene over here once you click on unlink scene you can simply click on your scene click on visuals over here and choose a different visual and i'm just going to search for a different visual over here like this one now once i'm satisfied with the overall appearance the next thing i want to do is add my voiceover and background music two of the fundamental elements of any youtube short to do that all you have to do is click on audio over here once you click on audio, a AI music is AI picked out music is already applied. You can choose to change this, but I'm going to keep it as it is. But then you have your voiceover. So once you click on voiceover, you have multiple different voices that you can test out. Welcome to Victory. So you guys can choose whichever voice you want. So I'm going to use the English with South African accent and I'm going to click on apply over here. And just like that, the voiceover will also be generated. Once all of my choices are complete, I can can set the volume as well so i will click on volume and from here you can set the background music i'm going to turn the background music down because i really don't want it to be super apparent and i'm going to keep the voiceover volume to 50 percent after that if there are any remaining embellishment gifs or stickers that you want to insert simply go into elements and choose the sticker or gif you want to insert from here once you have completed this step you are ready to preview your pictory generated face short so we will just click on preview on the top right and this will create a visual as well as audio preview so you can see what your ai generated voice sounds like and if it's working with the rest of your video once you are satisfied with your preview you can move towards downloading so let's just take a look at our preview over here did you know that amsterdam calls them dennis a red light district that's both fascinating virtual and a football club that's been dominating the dutch youth for decades we're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know, did you know that? In so you guys can see our preview is ready. Now you can see it is a 41 second video. So it's perfect for YouTube shorts. However, the AI voice is leaving a bunch of gaps at the end of each sentence. So if you want this to be flowing more effortlessly, you can click on your scene duration over here and reduce the scene duration timing by one second and then preview it once again. So now we can click on the single preview just so I don't have to wait for a long time. I'm just going to do a single preview and then you can choose to remove one second out of each individual scene just to make it a bit more flowy. So this can just help you in reducing the overall duration of your video as well as the fact that it's going to make your video seem more effortless and it's going to make your audio seem a bit more smooth. So once you're satisfied with the preview, you can click on download on the top right. 
click on video over here and just like that your youtube short using ai using pictories ai to create a faceless youtube short video is completed i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video